Hello, everyone. Thank you for your invitation. And indeed, our last discussion uh, was right before the war started, when we all uh, hoped that uh, it wouldn't. But unfortunately, it happened, and we changed a bit uh, the course of our uh, regular activities and uh, plans that we had for, for our events and our projects. Uh, so uh, our organization, the World Congress of Ukrainian Youth Organizations, it's a networking uh, NGO. It's a umbrella for Ukrainian organizations from all over the world. Uh, and we coordinate and um, networking with all the Ukrainian youth uh, NGOs worldwide. Uh, so our main activities and uh, projects were focused more on youth development, uh, trainings, uh, and different youth-related activities. Uh, but since the war started, we jumped a bit since the day one to, to support uh, the refugees, to uh, get more um, help uh, in terms of humanitarian aid. Uh, so most of our uh, NGOs members, uh, actually all of our uh, NGOs uh, jumped in and uh, organized uh, in such a way to, to coordinate our support. Uh, regarding Romania, we had a tremendous and wonderful reaction from the civil society, actually. It was the first uh, institution or entity that reacted to the, to the war. And we're really thankful for uh, Romanian uh, society and Romanians in general for supporting Ukrainians in these more than three months. Um, for now, uh, our top priorities or directions for uh, projects and uh, our activity work uh, is focused on um, uh, humanitarian aid and um, we already started the discussion regarding the reconstructions, the construction of Ukraine in terms of Euro integration. Um, the second um, big direction that we are working on is um, uh, social activism in support of Ukraine for Euro integration and Euro Atlantic integration, uh, plus uh, cultural diplomacy, uh, because it's an opportunity for us to. Uh, use this um, uh, this momentum for uh, getting closer Ukraine and Ukrainian culture and uh, Ukrainian people uh, to European society to discover more about Ukrainians in general. Uh, and the third direction is um, focused more on uh, the refugees that are in the various uh, countries, in, uh, especially in uh, European Union countries, uh, to help them uh, to integrate but not assimilate, which is an important factor for us because we want to keep the Ukrainian communities uh, close and strong. Um, there is an also an explanation for that because Ruski Mir or Rostotrudnichistvo is really active in uh, some countries. Uh, and we have cases where Ukrainian uh, refugees were guided to uh, join these, uh, these clubs or NGOs. And we systematically fight against them and we try to, to bring those communities that are temporarily dislocated in other countries and to stay together and to uh, continue promoting their culture, their language and uh, um, everything they bring, the good things that they're bringing from, from Ukraine. Um, regarding uh, Romania and humanitarian aid, we have uh, several projects since day one. Uh, we had um, uh, humanitarian aid for uh, the internally displaced um, uh, children in Ukraine. Uh, we had um, humanitarian aid delivered to uh, uh, Kyiv region, uh, Bucha, Irpin, uh, north area of, of Ukraine, and also to the east. Um, it's so far uh, we managed to gather more than and deliver more than um, 
in terms of value more than 100,000 euros of uh, humanitarian aid of food and um, sanitary products. Uh, we're still continuing. We have um, uh, one great partner, um, which is Action Aid, uh, who's cooperating with us on, on this topic. Uh, and we are also learning a lot because so far we didn't do any uh, humanitarian aid activities related. So we had to uh, get some new people reaping our activities to um, get on board. Um, people that had previous experience with uh, and shared uh, their knowledge uh, regarding uh, humanitarian aid. We're very glad that uh, with the limitations that are given, we managed to do um, some parts of the, to cover some parts of humanitarian aid because uh, it's a catastrophic situation in some uh, remote areas and we are trying to reach those areas even though it's uh, maybe a fight going on uh, even right now there. Um, and uh, we're hoping that uh, we'll manage to continue to find these fundings uh, in, in the future because after the first or second month, uh, the donations drop and we rely exclusively on, uh, on grants, on projects uh, with uh, international partners.